two men born in different countries would meet 40 years later to join forces in combating cancer. Toronto-born Dr. Robert Lang Noble became an MD in 1934 and received a PhD from the University of London in England in 1937. Ten years later, he would become an associate director of the Collip Medical Research Laboratory at the University of Western Ontario. Dr. Charles Thomas Beer received his degree from Oxford University in 1948 based on organic chemistry. From there, he had fellowships in New York and Montreal before arriving at London in the University of Western Ontario in the late 1950s. And they were interested, very interested, in finding an alternative to insulin derived from the pancreas of animals, which was then used for treating diabetes. And they thought that perhaps plants or even other sources might give substances which were hopefully quite available, readily available. The whole discovery of emblastine was really a side trip in terms of Dad's main research interests. His brother, Clark, had sent him some leaves of the periwinkle plant. So he made a concentrated extract and injected it into the rats. And the rats all died. And he found that they had died from infection. And pursuing that further, they had the infection because they had no white blood cells left. Raised the possibility that the agent, if they could isolate it, might be used to treat leukemia, which is a disease where you have too many white blood cells. With Dr. Beer's arrival in Dr. Noble's laboratory at UWO in September of 1954, this teaming of expertise led to the isolation and purification of vinblastine. The discovery of vinblastine, I think, is a milestone in the development of cancer chemotherapy. I would say the basic idea to, to test as an anti-cancer drug was, was Dr. Noble's. Uh, he didn't have the background or the ability to isolate the, the material. I think that's, uh, that's where Beer came in and where he had the expertise that made it possible to do that. It came out one night when I was looking through the microscope, not expecting to see anything, and then under the microscope there suddenly appeared a brilliant tiny star of light from which lots and lots of little crystals, a magnification of 200, began to appear. And that was the appearance of the first of the anti-cancer anti agents found in the Binka plant. While not a cure, in combination with other drugs, vinblastine had a major impact on controlling the growth of a number of types of cancers. Uh, it's probably the, uh, the discovery that uh, might be cited as the most um, spectacular of, of all the um, achievements in Canada in the area of, of, of cancer research and treatment. Uh, there has been no other discovery or contribution that has surpassed this one in terms of its impact on treatment of, of cancerous disease. The process received a patent in the name of C.T. Beer, J.H. Coots, a doctoral student co-worker, and R.L. Noble, and was administered by the university in cooperation with the Eli Lilly Company of Indianapolis. In 1960, Dr. Robert Noble was appointed Director of Cancer Research and Professor of Physiology at the University of British Columbia. Upon his retirement in 1975, he became an honorary member, Division of Cancer Endocrinology at the BC Cancer Agency, where he continued his research until his death in 1990. Dr. Charles Beer has been a professor in the Department of Biochemistry at UBC since 1967 and is now Professor Emeritus at UBC and Honorary Senior Research Scientist at the Department of Cancer Endocrinology, British Columbia Cancer Agency. I'm particularly honored by being on the role, the Medical Hall of Fame. And I might mention, I'm also very, very grateful and pleased to be remembered with Bob Noble in this work.